video 1. This short video will explain what happens when you are taken into police custody. You arrive at the custody suite. The booking in process starts where the officer explains to the custody team why you have been arrested. Information about why they have arrested you is provided by the police officer to the custody team. The custody sergeant makes a decision whether to approve your stay, which is also called your detention. A custody record is opened and notes are made by the custody team. This is then used to record any information during your stay. You may have items either found on you or nearby the scene of arrest that are taken and placed in the police property store. They could be used as items to show in the case or the property is unsuitable to take into a cell. We will be talking about property in more detail later in this video. If you are under 18, an appropriate adult will be called. This person's involvement and responsibilities will be explained later. You will be asked if you would like to speak to a solicitor. You can speak to one on the phone or in person. The custody team will help with these things and are there to ensure you are cared for while you're at the police station. You will be asked lots of questions about your health, background and anything which the custody team feel like they need to know to ensure you're safe and looked after. The custody team are there to look after you, so try and answer these questions if you can. This is called a risk assessment, so the custody team understand you as everyone is different. Everyone has certain rights and entitlements when in a police station, and these are explained later in the video, and include your right to legal advice. The right to have someone informed and the codes of practice, which are the police rules. At some point, a police officer will speak to you about your health, how you are feeling and ask if there is anything they can help with. This is called a review and it is an opportunity to talk about how you feel and to ask questions. You will be asked to have your photograph and fingerprints taken. This happens to everyone who comes into the custody suite. This also includes your DNA. Your DNA are cells in the body which are unique to you and are collected by the custody team using a small swab like a cotton bud. During the time you are in custody, police will be working on your case and you will be spoken to by the investigating officer in an interview room. If you are under 18, this will be with your appropriate adult and the solicitor if one was asked for. The interview will be recorded and you will be asked some questions. This is an opportunity to talk about what happened from your perspective, but it is up to you if you want to answer the questions or talk to the interviewer. A decision will then be made before you leave the custody suite, and this could be that you are either charged with an offence, the police feel there is enough evidence and that you have committed the offence, bailed to attend the police station again, there is more time needed to carry out further inquiries and a date is set for you to return to the police station. Released under investigation, similar to being bailed, but there is no set date you have to return. No further action. At this stage, please feel that you may not have been responsible for committing the offence you were arrested for, but this may change if new evidence is found. When you are released, the custody team will ask you some questions for a second risk assessment to include your safety and how you will get home, how you are feeling and explain what property is being kept and what is being returned to you.